Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, good to be back with you. I am um, going to get us started in Kings, but want to uh, want to thank uh, Joey for opening us up in Kings, and then uh, Steve for coming along right before me. And then I've got uh, one Kings sixteen through twenty, and then Scotty's going to close us out in Psalms this month. So. I uh, just want to thank everybody for being here. It's been a little while. I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things. My allergies are still uh, first and foremost. They're beating me up pretty good. But I uh, apologize if I cough or uh, if you can't understand me. But here we go. We are in 1 Kings. 1 Kings 16 is the chapter I'm picking up. And the first two verses that rose up for me were verses 5 through 7. As for the other events of Basha's reign, what did he and his achievements? Are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Basha rested with his fathers, and he was buried in Ter Terzah. And Elah, his son, succeeded him as king. Moreover, the world of the Lord came through the prophet Jehu, son of Hanani, to Basha and his house, because all the evil he had done in the eyes of the Lord, provoking him to anger by the things he did, and becoming like the house of Jeroboam, and also because he destroyed it. Angering God, not a good thing, I don't think. My reveal, the Bible tells us that by nature, God is merciful and gracious, slow to anger. It took a lot from Basha to provoke God to anger. I can only imagine making God mad for many years until one day he just can't take it anymore. My implementation, well, I never want to make God angry like Basha did, especially for a long period of time. I spent a good part of my life trying really hard for God not to love me. But as we all know, he is a big God, slow to anger and full of mercy and grace. My prayer. Lord, don't let anyone feel like Basha and anger God. He is our Father and loves us so much. I did, guys. I spent a long time of my life uh, not um, having God as my friend. Uh, I don't think I was purposely trying to anger him, but I think along the way, he for sure felt angry at me for my disobedience. Um, and it wasn't until, you know, the first January 14th, 2018, where I came right back around and, and I needed him and he was right there for me. So uh, he is a very merciful and gracious God uh, to take someone like me back in and transform my life uh, as he did uh, that day and all the days uh, leading up to today. So my, I strive to be better tomorrow than I was today and I try to be a better Christian tomorrow than I was today. So that's what he put on my heart. Well, let's pray us out. Uh, Lord, I would just give you all these <coughs> in his grip people uh, watching and listening and, and learning from uh, you and your word. Lord, we never, uh, we never want to anger you and we know that you are so grace, gracious and merciful and you love us so big. Uh, you are larger than life, Lord. We just, uh, in all our ways, we wanna just do this to glorify you and your kingdom. Uh, amen. Guys, see you in the morning with uh, 1 Kings 17.